<sighs> I'm so sleepy. I took a paid day off yesterday, and I'm back to work today. As I got to the office as usual, I felt something was different. Huh? Uh, what's going on? I saw my senpai I know well with a woman I've never seen before. Oh? Where's the memo I left here? Oh, that. I thought it was garbage, so I threw it away. <laughs> what? Oh no, why did you do that? That was really important. Huh? Are you talking back to me? It looked like a scene from a terrible soap opera. Yup, I want to go home. Right now. I have no idea who that woman is. Hey, who is that? Oh, Soma, good morning. You weren't here yesterday, huh? She's Kyoko Oneyama. She joined us yesterday. I don't know what it is, but she's been messing around with Usa-chan since day one. Oh, women are scary. Soma, you be careful too. Huh? I'm not a woman though. I know that. What I meant is, you're good looking, so you might get involved in women's trouble if you aren't careful. Oh, you like me? Okay, I don't hate you. Stop joking around. I love you too, by the way. Ugh, this is getting weird. No more joking around, we have work. You took yesterday off, so take it seriously, okay? Yeah, yeah. While I said that, I was watching Usagawa-senpai and the newcomer. Looks like the harassment still continued while we were joking around. Hmm, this is getting troublesome. I looked at them and sighed. The next day, Usagawa-senpai was being harassed by Oneyama. It even looks like Oneyama is the senpai. I walked up to Usagawa-senpai to talk to her. Usa-usa-senpai, may I have a word? Soma-kun, stop calling me that. She shows me a forced smile, and I got a little annoyed. Uh, Oneyama-san, can I ask you to leave the room for a moment? Are you going to talk about something you don't want people to hear? It's not like that. With a deliberate smile on my face, I had her go away. Surprisingly, she went away easily. So, um, Somaku, what do you want to talk about? Why are you not talking back to her? Huh? What are you talking about? Are you gonna play dumb? Hey, I'm not that slow. And she had given up and began to talk. Well, all I have to do is just put up with it, right? She's always like this. She never blames others and always sacrifices herself. I've only been with this company for a few years, but I knew that much about her. That's why I can't leave her alone, even if it was a pain in the ass. Usagawa senpai, you're an idiot, aren't you? Hey, what did you just say to a senpai? I made fun of her like that, and she looked like she was back to her usual self a bit. So I went back to work. One month had passed since Oneyama started harassing Usagawa senpai. Hey, that's Usagawa senpai, isn't it? I saw her walking past the office. Something was wrong with her. So I called Kotaro that I would be late, and I followed her. <sighs> I don't want to go to work. Oh, I passed by the office. I have to go back. Ah, <sighs> but I don't want to. As I caught up with her, I heard her mumbling. She must be in a tight corner. Who would have thought that Usagawa-senpai, who was always smiling, would be so depressed? Usagawa-senpai, where are you going? Wow! Huh? So Somaka? Why? It looked like you were going to skip work, so I followed you. Is it skipping work? No way. She denied, but only with a faint voice. Skip, huh? Yeah, I want to skip work. I couldn't see her expression clearly, but I think I saw tears running down her cheeks. Do you want to ditch work with me? <laughs> There's no way you would do such a thing. You're a serious guy. Yeah, you're right. And you look like you're not thinking, but you're actually always thinking a lot. What? You say stupid things sometimes, as if you're half asleep. What? I'm always fully awake. You even admit that you're good looking. Have I ever admitted that? Hey, do you hate me? I feel like you're dissing me. <laughs> I'm just messing with you. Thank you, Soma-kun. Uh, I didn't do anything, you know? I feel refreshed after taking a walk with you. Let's go to work. 
We're going to be late. That was a walk? And we ran back to the office and somehow made it right on time. A few months later, nothing had changed. In fact, the situation was worse. Usagawa, what does this mean? The chief's angry voice echoes through the office. We've received a complaint from one of our clients. They said you sent them a rude email. I'm sorry, um, but I have no idea. What? Are you saying they're lying? I didn't miss Oneyama smirking. Ugh, <sighs> she's a real pain in the ass. I decided to make a few moves to clear Sagawa Senpai's suspicions. I knew it. I used my computer to find out the email that was sent to the client. Bingo! The email in question was sent from Oneyama's device. Chief, that email probably wasn't sent by Usagawa Senpai. Oh? What do you mean? That email was sent from Oneyama-san's device. Strange, isn't it? What? How did you know that? It's easy to find out. Oneyama-san, come on, give us a break. Oh, hey, that doesn't mean I did it. That woman probably took my device. That's enough. Stop messing up our work environment. Our device won't work without a card key. Even a rookie like you know that, right? Uh. Chief, you know that too. No one can take out a card key without your approval. Isn't that right? Uh, uh, uh you're right. Sagawa, I'm sorry for doubting you without checking. No, no, I'm fine. Sagawa senpai are you going to hold back again? Don't you have anything to say to Oneyama-san? So, Somaka, I'm really fine. Just putting up with it won't solve anything, senpai. Ah, you. You've been acting all high and mighty since a while ago. But I joined this company at the president's discretion, you know? Aren't you afraid of the president? <laughs> and you. Aren't you afraid of me? Hey, what the hell? I'm not afraid of you. Unable to say anything back properly, she left the office. The next day, when I got to the office, something was strange. Hey, Soma, did you do something to Oneyama? What do you mean? Everyone's talking about you now. Huh? What the hell? I said I didn't want to, but Soma-san forced me to. Huh? Who, who is that supposed to be? <laughs> I'm imitating Oneyama-san. Don't you see the resemblance? I'm doing this since you know nothing. Soma-san tried to force me to do it, and I was scared. Oh! <laughs> Stop! Stop it! <laughs> <laughs> but hey, you're in serious trouble, okay? So, in short, yesterday's incident made me the next target, huh? I guess so, but I believe in you. You wouldn't do anything stupid. But I don't know about those who don't know Neyama's personality. I realized that this was the reason why everyone was looking at me. Then, Oneyama, who should have been scared of being approached by me, comes up to me. She's too much of an idiot. It's all because you disobeyed me, okay? <laughs> <laughs> Are you an idiot? What? Like, this is nothing. Oh, and can I ask you to not come close to me? <laughs> hey, Kotaro. Don't laugh. Hey, Somaku, come with me. Huh? Hey, Usagawa-senpai? Suddenly, Usagawa-senpai pulls me by the arm and leads me out of the office. See ya! Hey, wait a minute. Hey, I won't forgive you if you mess with my Soma, okay? Huh? I'm not going to forgive you, you understand? Uh, what is wrong with this company? You're about to get into huge trouble, you know? I warned you. I had no way of knowing that Kotaro was threatening Oneyama at that moment. And I was brought to the rooftop by Usagawa-senpai. Ugh, oh, it's cold. Usagawa-senpai, why did you choose to come here? Idiot. Sorry. Huh? I'm sorry. Uh, say that again? Idiot? I'm sorry. Those two words normally don't go together, you know? I walked around in front of senpai, who was looking the other way. Hey, Usagawa-senpai. What's wrong? Huh? 
When I looked into her face, she was shedding tears. Oh, uh, what's wrong? Soma-kun, because you protected me, you are being targeted. I'm sorry. I was holding back because I didn't want this to happen. Soma-kun, you idiot. I was wondering why she had been holding back, but... So that's what she was thinking, huh? You're stupid, senpai. This doesn't pay me at all, unlike you. Don't call your senpai stupid. I'm sorry, but you are stupid, senpai. Don't cry for me. I hate you. You're so cool. Those phrases also don't go together, usually. Shut up. Somakun, I'm glad you saved me. Thank you. I tried so hard to get senpai to stop crying. Usagawa senpai is such a kind person, putting up with harassment to protect others. She takes her job seriously too. I've been watching her for the past few years. I have to protect her. I made up my mind and went to my dad's room. Dad, is this a good time? Huh, good morning Soma. What's up? Are you ready to report me on that? Yeah. So, that company... For the next few days, I spent my time being harassed by Oneyama. Then one day... Oneyama-kun, are you here? President, yes. You are fired as of today. What? M me This must be some kind of a mistake. There is no mistake. I heard that you have brought disgrace to my face and to this company. Are you... You sure? I'm going to tell my dad, you know. If my dad finds out about this, you are really sure? There's nothing wrong with that. D dad why are you here? I don't remember raising you like this. <laughs> the person you disrespected, Soma-san. His father runs that same batsu that owns your company. What? His father? All eyes were on me now. And I just stared at them, watching what will happen. Oneyama-san, I reported about you to my dad. And he's furious that he has no obligation to protect a company like that. You understand what that means, right? When I said that, she became completely silent. But she was still glaring at me. Oh, what was it that you said? Oh, yeah. I copied the line that she once said to me. It's your fault for going against me, okay? Ah, uh, hmm. I don't want to stay in this kind of a company anyway. Spitting a typical phrase of a loser, she left the company. She never showed up again ever since. Soma-kun, I'm sorry. I had no idea this was going on. No, thank you for making a move so quickly. I will inform my father that the matter has been settled down peacefully, so please rest assured. Oh, thank you. I owe you. Also, my day here ends today. What? A loud cry of surprise rises from everyone in the office. It's no wonder. Only Kotaro knew who I am. Of course, Usagawa-senpai didn't know either. I was only here to investigate this company. Now that I've reported everything to my dad, there is no need for me to stay here. I stayed here for so long just because it was comfortable being here. Thank you all for your help and support over the past few years. It's been a pleasure working with you all. I'll do my best as a member of the Zaibatsu to protect this company from now on. I bowed my head deeply. Everyone was sobbing. I was glad to have come here, even though there was a bit of trouble in the end. Then I looked up and just stared at Usagawa-senpai, who was holding back her tears again. And then, it was time for me to leave the office. Well... This is the end of my life as an ordinary businessman, huh? It's been a lot of fun. As I was reminiscing over my time in this company. Soma-kun, wait. Ah, I might have been waiting for this voice to stop me. I thought such a silly thing. What's up, Usasa-senpai? I tried to be silly. I smiled at Usagawa-senpai, thinking how lame I was. Are you really quitting? I won't be able to see you anymore? Hmm... Yeah, starting tomorrow, I won't be coming here. Um, it's the usual joke again, right? I wish it was a joke. Usagawa-senpai, it was fun working with you. Soma-kun... 
I could only see your depressed face recently because of that weird idiot. But I really enjoyed working with you. I was so comfortable that I stayed longer than the initial plan. I didn't mean to say this, but... Usagawa senpai, you've been special to me. Then she jumped onto me to hug me. I love you. I love you, Somako. I'm not sure if it's okay, senpai. I'm the son of a Zaibatsu, you know? You always put up with everything. So I'm afraid I'll make you put up with more stuff if you get together with me. So I wasn't gonna ask you out. But... You did it first, huh? Laughing with you, joking around with Kotaro. It was a lot of fun. I was starting to wish that I could be a normal businessman too. If I weren't born into a Zaibatsu, I could have worked with you guys forever. That's what I've been thinking. I'm so dumb, right? But I made up my mind. I decided that when someone like Oneyama appears again in the future, I'll protect this company and everyone in it. So I'm going back to the Zaibatsu. Soma-kun, I... You cried. So I'll give you a pass for now. What? What do you mean? If you stop holding back in front of me, we can start going out. I won't hold back anymore. So make me your girlfriend. Are you sure you won't? I wonder. Soma, I won't hold back in front of you either. Marry me. Ko... Kotaroka? Oh, sure. So, 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 Somaka? The good mood was ruined by Kotaro's stupid play as he came out of nowhere. But then, dating the son of a Zaibatsu is not really appropriate for my status, is it? Oh, you're holding back like that again, Usa-chan. Uh, but, but... It'll be fine. If I work my way up, nobody will complain about my marriage partner. Whoa, that was so cool. Will you actually marry me? You really like me, don't you? Hey, don't leave me alone. Soma could marry me. What? What? What happened to going out first? Why are you so shy only with Usa-chan? Of course I'm embarrassed. Oh, <laughs> stop it, you two. You're ruining the mood. I happen to be born in a Zaibatsu family. And when I experienced being an ordinary businessman, I met so many important people. I'm grateful to my dad for giving me this experience. Each and every one of the members of the group is working so hard and diligently, even if the leader can't see every one of them. But I want to become a leader who can watch over everybody, including these two. That's what I'm thinking right now. As a side note, I heard that Oneyama hated Usagawa-senpai because she was loved by everyone more than she was. Her need for approval went so far that it became unsightful. And she had no idea she was strangling herself by harassing others. The next time she does something to people I care about, I'm gonna do everything in my power to strip her of her excessive self-esteem. I hope she would be careful not to make me do that. <laughs>